Um, so I'm going to do a quick thing on the flags and symbol of the asexual community. I'm just going to way around the symbols and flags. Um, some of it was briefly touched on earlier. Now, uh, first of all, of course, is the Avon Triangle. Um, it's a triangle. Uh, it was touched on earlier. And so I won't need to go through it too much like I thought I would. But um, as you can see, uh, gender isn't the only thing we have a habit of trying to graphically represent. <laughs> um, also, sexuality, we've come up with new and interesting ways to do it, and many different facets possible any kind of attraction, whether it's sexual, romantic, or anything else. And uh, I think this brief um, conclusion is more complicated than string theory. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we have what I like to call the in-jokes. Um, basically, the cake, the aces, and the rain. Um, they're pretty common. The, ace, uh, the cake comes around because it's on the Aiden forums as an emoticon, like a smiley face, brown face, whatever. Um, it starts being used as kind of a greeting, congratulations, commiserations, pretty much anything else, sex, suspect, and joke. You name it, it became our mascot. So much so that on the um, census, there was a question about cake. <laughs> um, then there's the aces, which come around because ace is short for asexual, in the same way that bi is short for bisexual. And uh, you get ace, you get, you get ace of cards. Um, the ace of hearts tends to be used pretty much only by a romantic a uh, asexual, so homo, bi, pan, um, uh, heteroromantics. And Ace of Spades is, um, gets used by the aromantics and also pretty much anybody else. Um, and then you've got the ring, which in theory indicates to other people that you're asexual. You wear um, a black ring on the middle hand, middle finger of your right hand. But it sort of requires that one, the person looking at you knows what it means, and two, they know that you know what it means and aren't just wearing a ring on the finger just for the hell of it. Uh, actually, these all have problems like that in terms of that they're great in community, but you look at cards, you think games, magic tricks, gambling, you think of cake, you think, ooh, yummy treat. Um, so, so they're all great uh, symbols within the community, but they're not very good for uh, raising visibility with people outside of the community because they've all got other primary meanings. Also, um, also um, people have a habit of mixing these things up. This is sort of a educational colouring book, um, a woman on, um, who's on Tumblr came up with. It's a whole series of things, but this cake, this ace of spades, it's a pretty picture. I thought I'd put it on there. <laughs> um, but we got to the flag. Now, there was a suggestion of, you know, do we have a flag? Maybe we should have a flag. And it came up periodically every now and then. There's always people who are for it because it's, um, it's flexible. It doesn't have any other, other primary meaning. You can use it for, for uh, raising visibility. It's really, really great to have one. Others weren't so good, keen on having one, either because why would a sexuality have a flag in the first place, or can we really force other people to um, live under the flag, as it were? And others because they saw having a flag for sexuality as linking ourselves to the LGBT community. And whilst a lot of us are fine with that, not everybody is. But, um, I think large portions of those are heteromantic, but not all of them. Um, so there's a bit of debate, and this one time, People just started just submitting flags anyway, and it went ahead. <laughs> and nobody could stop it. Um, also, there, there's meanings of the different colours. The black represents asexuals, like in the ring. Um, the grey is for the grey romantics and demisexuals. The white is uh, for the sexuals, both in terms of gradient, like the triangle, and also, you know, allies. Of, and the purple is for all of us to, together community, which came from Avon and now apparently Matt. <laughs> Um, there have, however, been other um, alternate uh, colour meanings suggested. If you can't read that, black equals ski, grey equals rainy day, white equals cake, and I assume purple just stands for awesome. <laughs> um, these, uh, when people start, first started submitting flags, these were they. This, these were the first round of submissions. Some of them are good, some of them aren't. Some of them remind you suspiciously of country flags, like that one. <laughs> Some of them, I think this one was made by a uh, Scottish woman who uh, likened it to the Scottish flag until an American came along and said, why does that look like a Confederate flag? <laughs> um, so we had a few problems there and eventually some uh, people were suggesting some guidelines and eventually some uh, sort of moderators came along and sort of, hey, get your act together. So we got some uh, rules. Basically, we want to use all four colours. Two, no gradients because you can't put gradients on the flag because you can't, it's really hard to make. 
and two, not too complicated for crying out loud. Um, so we also at the same time started putting word out um, to outside of Avian because we didn't want it to just be an Avian thing. By this time, um, the asexual community had spread out. It was on Tumblr, it was on, uh, well that's actually Dreamwit, not um, Life Journal, but it was on Life Journal as well. Um, DeviantArt, that's the Polish forum, and uh, this sort of general LGBT blog picked it up. And um, so we started, all the designs from the last round that won uh, came through. I made that one. Uh, and along with new ones that complied to the, um, the criteria came through. Not all of these came from Avon, some of them did come from outside of Avon. So these went through a poll. And then these were the winner. Now this, this took a period of some while. This, during this entire thing there were discussions of should we have a flag, should we have a flag? Can we impose it on people? Can we not impose it on people? Can, we, can it be used? And so on. And um, by the time uh, two people had come across as kind of organising, me and another one, and there's other people but we seem to be the ones kind of putting up polls and stuff. Until on the uh, 3rd of August, my sister's birthday, um, I put up a Third final poll. This was not hosted on Avon, so it'd be completely impartial, and um, also so people couldn't see the results when they were voting and then get biased by it. And uh, give it some time, and the thing was announced on the 11th of August, a few days later, and we have a winner. And it uh, promptly went out. It went, uh, did the rounds as the announcement. Um, uh, that was from the demisexual uh, live journal, I believe it is. So it's. Kind of the demi demi's user as well. Sorry, just very um, very quickly explain what the demisexual means. Okay, demi. Um, demisexual. So you get um, a spectrum. You get um, sexuals on one side who are well sexual. Then you get asexuals on the other side who are asexual. And then in, in between, there's sort of like a grey area. So uh, the demis and the graces. Uh, the grey aces are kind of exist. They're kind of between sexual and asexual. And then you get the demisexuals, who are kind of a kind of that. Um, they're largely asexual until such point, so they kind of form um, sort of emotional, romantic attraction uh, to someone, at which point it sort of triggers something, and they start being uh, sexual attraction towards that person. So it's sort of like an in-between area. So they're, they, they tend to fall underneath the asexual umbrella, the graces and aces, uh, graces and gummies. And as soon as announced, people started using it for things. These are all handmade, even the umbrella. Um, for those who don't know, that's the transgender flag, that's the pangender flag, and that's the bi uh, pansexual flag, and that's the uh, bisexual flag, for those who don't know. Uh, and people started using mark, largely positive, sometimes um, these are experiences that aren't quite so positive and kind of feeling isolation and stuff. And That was uh, actually a suggestion for the banner for the mark yesterday. A bit too complicated to use it, but I loved it, so I'm putting it here. <laughs> and also you can see the cake still remains. And uh, then of course it got used at Pride. This is um, this is in Stockholm. This is in San Francisco, which looked really good. And I wish I was there when I saw the pictures. And this is from London last year. And as you can see, it's um, it's getting around. We never imposed it on anybody, but it's become pretty much the official flag anyway. It's really adaptable. People see it and come ask you, what is this thing? And uh, well, you can fly it. You can walk behind it like you do with flags. It's it's, it's worked well. It's done what a flag should do and I've had people come up and tell me I was looking for a flag when we first started doing it. I did not want one then. Um, but I actually quite like it. I'm quite glad we have one now. So it's, it's, it's done its job and that's a very brief run through. Goodbye.